there has been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we're so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Thanks for being a part of our journey. Hey, Psych2Goers. We're about to get real deep today. So this is your invitation to mentally prepare. Are you single and you feel like you'll never be in a relationship? Why do you feel that way? If you're watching this, it might be that you believe your appearance is the reason for your single status. A lot of us have felt the same at some point, but this is not fact, it's perception. Both your perception of yourself and how others perceive you. So let's talk about why you are not too ugly for a relationship and how to change this perception. Here are four things you can do to help you not feel too ugly to be in a relationship. Number one, question, where did these feelings come from? Negative feelings about physical appearance can come from a multitude of places. It can be something you're genuinely insecure about, something your ex told you they prefer or don't prefer, or maybe someone made fun of you for that thing. Identifying if this is something you feel or something you were told can help to determine your true feelings. If you were always told that brown eyes were ugly, it would make sense that you don't like your own brown eyes. But what if someday someone takes a picture of you in amazing light that makes your eyes sparkle? You might see the true beauty. Think about any insecurities you may have, then ask yourself, why do I feel this way? This can be the first step to turning your outlook around. Number two. What do I do with these feelings? Identifying the issue is the first step. Once you've figured out where your negative feelings come from, you can figure out what to do with them. You can write everything down in detail to work through these feelings with a trusted mental health professional. As you go through your thoughts, take note of which things are facts and which are opinions. An example would be, I have red hair versus the color of my hair is gross. Once you've found the things that are opinions, Decide if you agree with them. You can also talk to a loved one who you can be completely open and honest with. Dissecting these thoughts and feelings will help you identify what you believe about yourself. Coming up with small actions can help you be in control of how you see yourself and help change how others see you. Number three, why you should care. When you feel icky about yourself, you portray that to others. Because of the negative vibes, people may not wanna to spend too much time with you. When you're confident and have a positive self-image, that radiates from you too. And that increases the odds of them being attracted to you. And not all physical attractiveness is based on what you see, <laughs> mind blown. In 2015, a group of researchers found that physical attraction isn't just what you see, but also what you pick up with your other senses. Things like the sound of your voice, your smell, the way the person feels when you touch them, and you being confident. These are just as important in determining if someone is physically attracted to you. Added bonus, relationships are like dominoes. If one gets knocked over, the rest usually go with it. When your self-image and confidence go down, so does your mental health, quality of relationships, issues with work or school, etc. When you build that confidence back up by changing your perception, it makes to improve those other areas of your life. Number four, long story short, you are beautiful. Inside and out, if you weren't, you wouldn't care how others see you and you wouldn't be watching this. You're not too ugly for a relationship. Take some time to sit with yourself, a loved one or a trusted mental health professional to explore these thoughts and feelings and where they come from. And create an action plan and work towards a more confident you. It's so important that we're comfortable and confident in ourselves in order to live a healthy, positive life, not for the sole purpose of finding a relationship. Once you love yourself, the relationship will fall into place. If you found comfort in this video or you have something you like to do when you're not feeling your best, share it with us in the comments below. And please share this video with others you think it might help. The references and studies used are listed in the description below. Thanks for watching friends. Have a beautiful day and see you next time. Need more info to see if it's your insecurities turning people off? Watch nine signs of insecurity that turn others off.